Hello and welcome to the news from Bahrain International. I am Hamid Yusuf. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa issued Royal Decree 118 of 2021 appointing Sheikh Abdullah bin Abdul Aziz bin Ahmed Al Khalifa as Deputy Chief Executive Officer at the Supreme Council for Environment. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa ratified and issued Law 31 of 2021 regarding the protection of new varieties of plants. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa received a written letter from the custodian of the two holy mosques, King Salman bin Abdul Aziz Al Saud, on the strong bilateral relations and the means to support and enhance them. The letter was received by the Minister of Foreign Affairs, Dr. Abdul Latif bin Rashid Al Zayani, upon receiving the Saudi Minister of Foreign Affairs, His Highness Prince Faisal bin Farhan Al Saud, who arrived in the kingdom as part of a GCC tour. The meeting was attended by the Saudi Chargé d'Affaires in Bahrain, Councillor Saleh Al Atebi, and the delegation accompanying the Saudi minister. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa attended a luncheon hosted by the Saudi Crown Prince, Deputy Prime Minister and Minister of Defense His Royal Highness Prince Mohammed bin Salman bin Abdul Aziz Al Saud in honor of the President of France Emmanuel Macron. The luncheon was part of His Royal Highness's visit to the Jeddah Corny Circuit, which is hosting the first edition of the Saudi Arabia Formula One Grand Prix. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa attended part of the qualifying race of the first edition of the Formula One STC Saudi Arabian Grand Prix 2021 held at the Jeddah Cornish Circuit. His Royal Highness stated that the Middle East has become a global destination for international sporting events such as Formula One races. He extended his congratulations to the custodian of the two holy mosques, King Salman bin Abdul Aziz Al Saud, and the Saudi Crown Prince, Deputy Prime Minister and Minister of Defense, His Royal Highness. Prince Mohammed bin Salman bin Abdul Aziz Al Saud on successfully establishing the first F1 race in Saudi Arabia. His Royal Highness emphasized the importance of cooperation between Bahrain International Circuit and Jeddah Corniche Circuit and sharing knowledge and experiences. He commended the contributions of Bahrain Motor Federation in supporting the Saudi Arabian Motor Federation to organize the first Saudi Arabia F1. His Royal Highness concluded by wishing Saudi Arabia further success. Under the directors of the representative of His Majesty the King for Humanitarian Work and Youth Affairs, Honorary President of the Royal Equestrian and Endurance Federation, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, the National Day Championship for Purebred Arabian Horses continued with its exciting competition. The championship is held under the patronage of the President of the Royal Equestrian and Endurance Races at Rashid Equestrian and Horse Racing Club, His Highness Sheikh Isa bin Abdullah Al Khalifa. His Highness Sheikh Nasser asserted that the Purebred Arabian Horses Championships are considered one of the most important important competitions that are widely popular across horse races fans. He lauded the wide participation in the competition, noting that this is the main reason for the success of all local championships as tables and their owners are the main contributors in developing the sport. Secretary General of the Bahrain Olympic Committee, Mohammed al Nasr, praised the support of His Highness Sheikh Nasser and the keenness of His Highness Sheikh Isa bin Abdullah to organize various equestrian championships. He participated in crowning the winners in various categories of the tournament. Upon the directives of the representative of His Majesty, the King for Humanitarian Work and Youth Affairs, and Honorary President of Bahrain Royal Equestrian and Endurance Federation, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, and in the presence of the First Deputy President of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, President of the General Sports Authority, and President of Bahrain Olympic Committee, His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa, the National Day Horse Beauty Championship was held, organized by brief. The championship was attended by the Deputy President of GSA, His Highness Sheikh Salman bin Mohammed Al Khalifa, and the President of brief His Highness Sheikh Isa bin Abdullah Al Khalifa. His Highness Sheikh Khalid expressed appreciation for the efforts exerted by His Highness Sheikh Nasser in continuing to achieve the visions and aspirations of His Majesty the King and maintaining the heritage of equestrian sports, especially the horse beauty sport, which highlights Bahrain's breeding capabilities. He stated that the horse beauty sport represents a prominent aspect of Bahrain's history as Bahrain was proposed as one of the largest strongholds of purebred Arabian horses, which affirms the kingdom's status in maintaining heritage. 
heritage. He added that His Highness Sheikh Nasser's support achieved a quantum leap in the development of the horse beauty sport, which reflected positively on owners and stables in demonstrating the development of the horse beauty sport. His Highness hailed the efforts of brief led by His Highness Sheikh Isa bin Abdullah and the President and members of the Horse Beauty Committee, as well as the organizers and judges. He congratulated all first place winners of the championship. He also commended the outstanding shows in the championship and then honored the winners. The Speaker of the Representatives Council for Ziyazin held a discussion session in which a new parliamentary cooperation stage with Russia will begin and joint work courses will be activated to reach a bilateral agreement. Zainal affirmed that Bahraini-Russian relations and cooperation are witnessing remarkable development in various fields and at all levels. She noted the support of the legislative branch to all commercial and investment projects between Bahrain and Russia as a result of the governmental support led by His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister and the joint committees of businessmen in the two countries. During the meeting, joint bilateral topics and issues were discussed as well as regional and international developments. The chairwoman of the Russian Federation Council affirmed that Bahrain is a major partner for Russia, stressing the continuous keenness on bolstering cooperation in all fields. On the sidelines of the Russian parliamentary delegation's visit, a memorandum of understanding on improving the level of parliamentary cooperation between Russia and Bahrain with the aim of strengthening bilateral and multilateral ties was signed. The chairman of the Shura Council, Ali Saleh, hailed the existing bilateral strategic relations between Bahrain and Russia and the strong friendship relations that bind the two countries and their friendly people over for over three decades. As Saleh has stressed the importance of the visit of the chairwoman of the Russian Federation Council in enhancing bilateral cooperation, exchanging experiences and expertise, and building on the joint successes and achievements, especially in the health, educational, economic, commercial, and tourism fields. He noted that the visit is an opportunity to brief the Russian delegation on the kingdom's achievements in light of the reform project of His Majesty the King, which is considered a national project that includes all segments of society. He noted that the visit will also have a positive impact on continuing coordination and consultation between the Legislative Authority and the Russian Federation Council on various issues and topics of common interest, stressing the sincere desire of the Shura Council to deepen legislative cooperation. For her part, the chairwoman of the Russian Federation Council affirmed the progress and growth of the Bahraini-Russian relations, especially in terms of bolstering cooperation in vital and promising sectors, praising the achievements and the successes of Bahrain in facing many challenges. 
The chairman of the Shura Council, Ali Saleh, chaired the weekly council meeting where the council approved Bahrain joining the Nagoya Protocol. The protocol aims to obtain genetic resources and the equal and fair distribution of these resources in line with the biodiversity agreements. The council also discussed a draft law regarding fishing regulation, maritime wealth and public facilities. Following the invitation of Deputy Prime Minister and Minister of Interior of the UAE, His Highness Sheikh Saif bin Zayed Al Nahyan, the Interior Minister General Sheikh Rashid bin Abdullah Al Khalifa paid a visit to the UAE under the framework of the brotherly relations and ties between the two countries. The Minister congratulated the UAE on the 50th National Day and praised the advancement of the country in all fields. He praised the bilateral relations and cooperation thanks to the keenness of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa and Sheikh Khalifa bin Zayed Al Nahyan. He also praised the support and follow-up of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa and his UAE counterpart, His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Zayed Al Nahyan. The Minister praised the security, cooperation and coordination between the two countries and the keenness to exchange expertise in order to maintain the security and stability of both countries. His Highness Sheikh Saif appreciated the brotherly visit, wishing Bahrain further progress and prosperity. The minister congratulated the UAE on successfully hosting Expo 2020 Dubai, which showcases the heritage and culture of the UAE. Sheikh Rashid then toured both the Bahrain and UAE pavilions and hailed the high organizational capabilities of the UAE, which has proven in the success of hosting the high-profile event. He was also briefed on the security capabilities of the Dubai Police General Command and securing the global event using the latest smart technologies and artificial intelligence systems to ensure the highest levels of security and coordination with the various concerned agencies. The visit also included reviewing the role and efforts of the Dubai Cooperation for Ambulance Service Services with the aim of providing all factors of comfort and safety for visitors to the global event. He wished the UAE further progress and prosperity. Under the patronage of the Minister of Education, Dr. Majid al naimi the International Virtual Learning for 195 Universities Conference was inaugurated, which is one of the biggest education conferences in the world, attended by ministers and senior officials. Dr. Naimi delivered a speech in which he praised the organizing of this event and hailed the role of the higher education institutions and production high, producing high-capability graduates. The minister showcased Bahrain's efforts in achieving education sustainability, especially during the pandemic, through implementing e-learning. Midpoint Board of Directors Chairwoman Sheikh Noura bint Khalifa Al Khalifa affirmed that this conference is an opportunity to exchange expertise on the international level. The Supreme Council for Islamic Affairs issued a statement expressing its support for what was included in the fatwa issued by Al-Azhar Fatwa Global Center against the systematic campaigns led by international forces and organizations with the aim of promoting homosexuality and legalizing its spread in various societies around the world, including Arab and Islamic societies. The statement stressed that it is established in religion that homosexuality is forbidden in the Islamic Sharia and all divine laws and religions. The council also denounced these immoral campaigns and rejected them and condemned the various methods and means to promote them, especially through films and various media materials. Al-Azhar Fatwa Global Center has warned against systematic campaigns that promote homosexuality and legalize its spread in various societies around the world, including Arab and Islamic societies. The center expresses its strong condemnation of these campaigns, stressing its rejection of all attempts to promote homosexuality, especially in the Islamic world.